The Taliban, which is now governing Afghanistan, have unfortunately banned women from attending colleges and university. So far, it doesn't appear that they have banned girls from normal schooling, like for example, high school, but they appear to have banned them from higher education. Now I know before I even get started, there's gonna be people from one side of the spectrum saying, you don't live in Afghanistan. You don't know the situation. You don't know the rationale, and therefore you do not have the right to speak on it. Then there will be the other end of the spectrum that'll say, you're not condemning Taliban enough. So here's my perspective as an outside observer. Number one, to Western nations that are now threatening the Taliban, let us kindly remember, Afghanistan is in the situation that it is now because of you, you and your 20 year occupation of Afghanistan. So just keep that in mind before you trick yourself into believing you're a moral superior to anyone. Number two, as a quick recap, when the Taliban came into power, they said they won't prevent women from obtaining an education. However, that did slowly start withering away. First, they demanded that classes have men sitting in one side, women sitting on another side, a form of gender segregation. The Western world went crazy over this. I made a video explaining, I don't necessarily see an issue with that. And at the end of the day, different religion, different cultures, get over it. Then the Taliban decided every female student should cover up and wear hijab or some sort of head cover if she's to attend the university. Again, difficult to criticize. France forces Muslim women to remove their hijab, headscarves, and their religious clothing when attending schools and workplaces. So again, fine, still not banning women from taking an education, but putting more controls in place. Now, there's an actual ban. So let's dissect what the Minister of Higher Education said. He said this was necessary to prevent the mixing of genders and that some subjects violate the principles of Islam. All right, so for these subjects, why not identify what these subjects are and get rid of them? But also, are the men learning these subjects as well? And what subjects are we referring to? Then they gave other reasons. They said that it was due to women's failure to observe a dress code and study certain subjects. We told girls to dress properly, but they didn't. They're studying agriculture, engineering, and courses that go against Islam and Afghan honor. Wow, that was a very loaded statement. To say female education, or more specifically education in engineering, goes against Islam. Bro, that, that's highly debatable. To say it goes against Afghan culture, I don't know. Leave that to my Afghan followers to let me know in the comment section, does this go against the culture? Although culture does change from one place to the other. And to say that they put a dress code in place and that it wasn't followed and therefore now all women are banned. I mean, do you have a record or some sort of evidence of how many people broke the policy? Just is having everyone punished, maybe for the actions of a few. We need more details. Finally, he ends by saying that classes will resume once these issues are resolved. So a temporary ban, but who knows? And further to all this, People are just going to look at this and say, this is what Islam preaches, which is also just another unfortunate side effect of this entire situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below to this entire situation, and inshallah, there will be a quick resolution.